I'm going to tell you a little, a little the secret story. Okay, in the years and years ago, master entrepreneur always promised the same promise: double your income in. in 12 minutes and 12 months, right? That was the promise. And there were years that we actually guaranteed that. We told people, you wait 12, not wait, you work, you do the, you follow the plan. At the end of 12 months, if you didn't double your income, you can come back and get your money back. Okay, we did it for years. And throughout the whole year, the, the, all the years that we did, only three people came and said, I didn't double my income. Okay, two of them, we managed to tell them, listen, come to me for a coaching session, which I don't do, and I will look at your uh, plan, and I will see what went wrong, and I can help you, and then you can go on. Two of them said, fine, they came for a coaching session, they got the plan, I, they showed me the plan, I showed them what they did wrong, they went, were very happy. One person said, no, I want, uh, I want first that you will give me the coaching session, then I'm going to try it for three months, and if it doesn't work, I still want my money back. And I told her that doesn't work this way. And she got upset. So I contact my office manager at that time and asked her, what, what's the story with her? Why is she like that? Because she, she's one of, she was one of our greatest students. I mean, she did quite a lot of trainings. All of them she got as a gift. Either she won something from us or she got it from somebody as a gift. So she never paid for a training, uh, except that one, except the Master Entrepreneur. But she did a lot of good stuff that we told her. I mean, she was on television as a result of, uh, of uh, the courses that we did with her. She got lots of publicity. She became quite things. And I, I asked my office manager, what's the story with her? And she said, listen, I didn't tell you that because I didn't think it was important. But the day that she registered for the Master Entrepreneur, she came to the registration table and she asked, is this serious about giving the money back after a year if I don't succeed? And uh, and uh, they told her, yes, he's serious. So she took her agenda. She opened it to the date of the training a year later, and she wrote, ask for my money back. Oh. Now, yeah, listen, but I'm, I'm sure she's not the only person in the world that thought about it. But uh, So I called her, and I told her, listen, I know why your business is not successful. Because what she says is that, listen, I'm doing everything that you tell me. I'm getting the results that you tell me. I'm getting the publicity. I'm getting lots of visitors and everything. They come to my free events all the time. They're full. But nobody is coming to the, you know, to the paid events, to what I'm selling them. And so I called her and I said, listen, I can give you a coaching session. I will solve you that. But I'm not going to give you the 45-minute session because I don't think you need it. You need three minutes of my time. I'm going to give you the answer in three minutes why you're not growing your business. But you can either choose for that or for your money back. You cannot have two of them. And she thought about it and she came back and she said, I don't believe that in three minutes you can answer me. I said, that's fine. You know, you make a choice. And she said, I want my money back. We paid her money back. That was the only person ever that got her money back. And from that day, we don't give this guarantee anymore because I don't need these assholes in our organization. Does that make sense? But anybody have a clue what would be the three minutes uh, session that I would give her? Or what would be the one sentence session that I would give her? Mindset. What? Mindset. Yeah, but what mindset? Start paying for your education. Because if you're not paying for education, why your people will pay for, it, for the education with you? She was doing trainings. She was doing a very similar business to us in her field. But she was working exactly like we teach, front and back and everything right. But she wasn't willing to pay for a training. She was willing only to come for all the free events. And I could tell her that. And if she would change that, her business would go through the roof because she had everything else set. But she wasn't willing. So um, what I'm trying to say is that the mindset is so important. If you want certain results in your business, you better do the same for somebody else or somewhere else. Is that making sense?